Hello friends, Tony here, so welcome back. In this video I'm going to play a little bit with the Linux commands. And I have opened here a website and this website and the website name is Post Linux. And also I have uh, opened the specific page for Linux Essentials, your cheat sheet for folder permissions. So all the link is if I say fosslinux.com 132798 slash linux dash essential there's your cheat sheet for folder permissions and i highly recommend that uh, read it because we need to learn a little bit for linux commands because we are working with linux okay so here if you scroll down we have for example linux uh, folder permissions cheat sheet and the command is here and the description for that command is here now for example ls dash l if we type this in the terminal and hit enter, it's going to list files and directories with their permissions. Also, we have here chmod for, for uh, 755, and it's going to be also the directory name after that. And what is going to do that is going to set directory permissions to rwx, uh, r dash or minus x r minus x again and we don't need we don't know what the r stands for but if we scroll down yeah here we have the permission type and we have also the number so the permission type read and the code meaning r so r is for read w for write uh, x execute and dash or minus for no permission now that the uh, ch uh, change mode it stands for change mode and 755 is going to change the mode uh, read write execute and here we have nine uh, no, uh, nine characters the three ones is going to stand for the user so the owner read write execute three others for the group read uh, and execute and the last three is for others okay so let's open the warp terminal and uh, i'm going to close this one and on the terminal let's uh, first let's log in as a tony not as a root user i'm going to log in as tony we need to have the password okay and now if i say pwd it's going to show me in which directory i am right now so Right now I am in the Tony directory, so slash home slash Tony. Good. Let's create a new user and play a little bit with the commands and also with the file permissions. Now we know how to create a user. We can say add user and the name of the user. But if I hit add user John right now, yeah, only the root may add the user or group to the system. But because the Tony user will give some permissions, we can say sudo add user john and now we need to add the password because we are going to execute the add user as a super user so let's add the password for the tony and now the user is created but we need to add new password for that user for the john user so let's say you can add your password okay now without the default so just enter enter and yeah now if i say cd dot dot is going to send us back one level up one level and as you can see we are in the home directory so if i say again pwd we are in slash home if i say ls we have uh, john and tony if i and if i say ls dash l is going to list off the files and directories also with their permissions and we can see here the t at the first is stands for directory so this is a directory and here we have the name of that directory and then we have the three permissions the first one are for the user john read write and execute permissions the group john has the read and execute and others no permissions okay the same for the tony directory now because i am tony user if i want to cd in the john let's say cd in the john directory 
Yeah, we have permission denied because as you can see here, the authors has no permissions. Now let's create a new file. I'm going to create a new file, uh, txt file, so text file, and I'm going to say, for example, just echo welcome. And I'm going to add the welcome.test.txt file, hit enter. And we have a permission denied because we are in the home directory. Let's go in my directory. So in the Tony directory, we can say CD Tony. Or for example, if I go back, we can just say CD and it's going to send us the my, my uh, default directory, which is tilde, as you can see right now. And if I say PWD, is Tony directory. Okay, now if I hit here the echo welcome text, no per, no error, and if I say ls, you can see we have here the test.txt file, and if I say cut, test.txt is going to show us the welcome. Okay, now let's uh, log in as a John user. We can switch the John user by saying su dash and the name of the user, in my case, is John. Hit enter. And we need to add the password of for John. Okay, now, as you can see, we are as a John user. And also, we can check that by saying, who am I? And yeah, we are John. Okay, of course, if I, see, if I say PWD, it's going to show me the current directory, and I am in the John uh, directory. Okay, now if I see the back, we are in the home directory and here we have the John and Tony. But if I say ls dash n, yeah, the John directory has the read write execute for the John and the read and execute for the John group. And no permissions for others, the same of the Tony directory. And if, if I want to see the in the Tony directory, yeah, we have permission denied. Let's create a new file in my directory. So right now I am in the Tony in the John directory, sorry. And let's create also here a file. Then I'm going to say echo. And I'm going to say here John. And I'm going to add this the new.txt file. If I say ls, we have new txt and also the same. If I say cut new.txt, we have John here. Now we can modify this file by saying, for example, echo I'm going to add my name John the new dot txt file and now if I say again cut new txt is going to see we have John here okay good let's uh, log out from this John to Tony again and because we use su we can say here just that's it and it's going to that's it from John and yeah, log out from John, and now we are Tony, as a Tony. So if I say, who am I? Yeah, we are Tony. Okay, let's clean this, and let's see the back on home directory here when we have, uh, so let's say just, and we have the John and Tony directories, but I want to modify the file we have in the John directory. Right now we cannot access that because, as you can see here, others has no permissions so if i cd yeah we have permission denied but we can change that by using so let's say c edge m o d and we can change the mode to 755 five for the john director okay let's say hit enter but we have a change of permission of john operation not permitted so we need to add uh, sudo I'll change the mode now if I say ls dash l we have for the John directory we have a read write execute for the user John a read execute for the group John and read execute for others so we, have, we can read the John directory so if I say cd the John now we are the John and if I say ls we have the new text, but if I say ls dash l, this new text has the read write for the John user, read write for the John group, and only read for the 
others. So if I say, for example, cut new text, yeah, but if I want to update that, we can say, for example, echo and not Tony, I will just, yeah, echo Tony to new text. Hit enter, yeah, we have permission denied because we don't have a permission, but we can change that. So we can say change mode the no 755 and let's open again the have that page I showed you and here for example we used uh, change mode the 755 and the directory name is going to set director permission to read write execute for the user or read execute for the group and read execute for others but we can say for example change mode for the user specifying the user plus and the uh, permissions so read write execute or change mode for the group and change mode for the others. Let's uh, change the permissions for others in our uh, John directory for the new text. Okay, so right now others has just the read permissions. We can change that by saying change mode O plus and what permissions we need to add. We need to add the read, write and execute or the execute we don't need because this is a txt file, just read and write, okay? So let's say read and write and hit enter. Yeah, we need to also specify the file which is the new text. Hit enter and as you can see we have change the permission of new text operation not permitted so we need to add a sudo and now let's say ls dash add again as you can see the read write permissions for the john user read write permission for the john group and read write permission for others which means now if i want to change something in this one so echo tony without tony the new text because right now if i say cut we have John, and if I say echo Tony now to new text, hit enter, and let's say cut the new text. Now we have Tony, as you can see, we change the permissions and we update also the new text. And you may say why we need this to deploy a Laravel project because we are going to change a configuration file, and for example, we can also update the env file directly here. So it's a good. Uh, have some knowledge about uh, Linux. Okay, now I'm going to cd back and I'm going to remove now the job user. So to remove it, user we can say we need to uh, execute the command as a sudo sudo user delete and the name user delete and the name of the user in my case is John. If I hit enter okay no error but if i say ls i am in the home directory if i say ls we have the john directory here it's going to uh, delete the user but not the directory of that user and i'm going to show you that the user is deleted by if i say su dash john as you can see user john does not exist but the john directory exists Okay, now we can delete also the John directory by saying uh, remove directory and the name of the directory which is John. If I sit, hit enter and we have the permission denied, fail to remove. We can say uh, remove sudo remove directory, hit enter and we have another prompt so directory is not empty. And yeah, directory is not empty. If I cd in the John, we have here the new text file but also if i say ls dash l and a as you can see we have the new text but also we have some hidden files with dot profile dot bash rc bash lookout and history and so on so let's move back to home and i'm going to remove that directory by saying rm dash rf and the name of the file so it's going to remove 
directory and here we are saying recursively and force the force out to delete hit enter and we need to execute that as a sudo and now if i say ls we have only the tally okay friends okay friends uh, that's it all about this video i just wanted to show you some commands you need to know to work with uh, linux and also some com uh, permissions so what r stands for and also wx and how we can change the mode also you have here how to change the owner and group of a directory and you can read more in this uh, website okay friends i hope you enjoy the video and if you like such a video so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share it with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much